Blending the structure of an MMO with an open-world driving game, Test Drive Unlimited 2 not only puts you behind the wheel of expensive sports cars, but lets you build a matching life of luxury, collecting houses, furniture, and fashionable attire. The game aims big with an expansive set of multiplayer features, but spotty service has left the online portion crippled at launch. The game's massive scale lets you drive freely across the islands of Ibiza and Oahu. A new focus on off-road vehicles means you can drive to practically any location that isn't fenced in, and a map that lets you quickly jump to any location you've previously visited keeps traversal from becoming a tedious chore. The driving mechanics aim to strike a balance between arcade and simulation styles, but the result isn't very satisfying from either perspective. Off-road courses tend to be the most fun to drive, and a few of the more desirable sports cars are frustratingly slippery on asphalt. While there's an enormous amount of content for a single-player experience, Test Drive Unlimited 2 is designed to be a social affair, with other drivers constantly present in the game community challenges to earn big cash, and competitions between groups of players involved in clubs. However, in the four days since launch, the condition of the game's servers has only gotten worse. Service for multiplayer races is frequently unavailable, clubs have been intentionally disabled due to an early exploit, and many players can't even get past the start screen without disconnecting their consoles from the internet. We hope to provide you with our full review of Test Drive Unlimited 2 soon, but with so many features unavailable, we'll have to wait until Atari finishes sorting out the mess. Thank you.